Hi, good evening. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see what happens here. I had a plan to do um, a few different things, and you know, sometimes when that starts going on and on in your head, like you, you start kind of. Sometimes there's a danger of just diluting everything, so it's good then to just make a decision and decide on one thing. I reckon, and see where that takes me. So the one thing I've decided on is to add an orange lily into this picture. And I'm using my um, self-portrait as a self-portrait from a while ago as a sketchboard because um, well, I was going to say I don't know where the other one is. I do know where it is. My sketchboard is actually under my mattress because my bed is um, had gone a bit wonky. There was some, something up with my the base of my bed, and I wasn't getting a good sleep. And since I put the drawing board under the mattress straightened it out a bit so that's where my drawing board that's a bit smaller that's the size of this that's where that is but this one works just fine in fact better probably because it's actually a little bit um thinner the board okay so i've got the uh, the lilies who are that are practically dead i was going to do a drawing of them as well um and i also have this drawing of a lily here and the vase that I used originally for that. I'm going to put you like that now so you can see. It's mostly really about what's going on. Oh, jeepers. It's mostly about what's going on in the picture there. Oh, stop it. That's all right, isn't it? I kind of want you to see the um, lily I'm working from as well. No, all right, I need to sort this out here. I think I'll just put that phase away because I don't really need to see that so much. And I'll put some masking tape there at the bottom of this here. All right. Okay, and now I'm going to put some, I'm going to do something to the top left corner, I reckon. I'll have a flower coming out of there. That's my plan see how it goes. Just try and sort out the microphone here. Oh, okay. Another chilly evening on uh, near Pinnacook is where I am in Scotland and there's um the temperatures are dropping again. So it's a good good evening to be indoors doing some creative stuff. As usual, I can't find any kitchen paper, so as usual, I'm going to take out another tea towel and pretend it's a rag. I think I just need to buy myself a whole load of new tea towels. Because what I thought might be a good entry in here would be to put some orange ink on where I want the lily to be located. And then I'll just kind of spread it out with the rag. Something like that. All right, so. Yeah, I think it's no harm to have something up here. All right. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let me see how it goes if I were to just continue with that, explaining that lily a little bit more clearly. So I might use some of this ink to draw with. There's a bit of a shadow now there, sorry. My hand is... Oh, so this is kind of fluorescent, this coloured ink, isn't it? And I might prefer to use... Um, really, I'd prefer, I think, to use a sharpened stick if I can find one. Just prepare to get lots of rummaging for a minute. Or even a pencil. Oh yeah, there's a there's a sharpened stick right there, Brilliant. and I might actually use slightly darker ink. I want to order some more ink. I think this is the sepia coloured ink here. So let's see what that looks like. Drinkers. Oh, for goodness sake! Sorry about that. Right. Okay. So I'm going to use the sepia coloured ink 
and looking at my drawing on the wall there, um, which you can't see anymore, but I can. I'm going to just draw some of the important lines with the sepia coloured ink. Do you know, um, I've just finished watching, sorry, and I should focus really for a while until I get underway. That was quite a lot of sepia coloured ink that came out there in one go, wasn't it? I can probably use it um, to, as a reservoir to dip into for the rest. And even maybe here I could use it to dilute that fluorescent ink a little bit. Because it looks to me as though that's maybe a little bit too bright in some places. And it's just right in others, actually. Okay. Yeah, I, stu I still do have some of that orange paper, but uh, I think here, rather than put orange paper on, it, it being a little bit more subtle in terms of colour, this, this drawing, um, I think, is a little bit more subtle than, say, the sunflower painting I just did today earlier now. So I'm not inclined to stick on some bright orange paper like that. Like I think the ink spread out works just fine. Um, and I can clean the top of this and stick it into another colour. I don't want to go straight for the fluorescent, but I think something, hopefully this is going to have some ink in it. Now this red, it's not very much, but I think there's a little bit. Hopefully this red will work to be a kind of an in-between colour, not too, um, not too bright and not as black, not as dark as the sepia coloured ink, <coughs> but you know there's an awful lot of this now. I need to do a, a bit of a, an order, I need to do an order for materials. I guess the things I've used mostly are the ones that I need to order again because I obviously like the colours. So um, there's a lot of oranges and reds that have depleted, especially for some reason the, um, oh, that's got a lot of ink, especially for some reason the fluorescent ones that are really bright, which I thought uh, when I got them that I would never use them. But actually, I suppose flowers really being so beautifully, um, like their colour is never disappointing. So in, um, <coughs> in explaining them on paper, I want to be sure that I do justice to the brightness of them. And I guess fluorescent ink is the business for that. Right, so there's this petal that comes down here. It's quite bright at the front. I don't know if I'm making this too detailed in relation to the rest of this, because the rest of it was very quickly done. I suppose I could bring up the fuchsia a little bit more and whatever this is here. Might be it might have been a char brother, a daisy of some sort. There. <coughs> I suppose I could just kind of decide what it is myself. I don't have to always have visual evidence, I suppose, for things. And there could be something else making up there as well. I think the purple flowers are nice. They look kind of purple there anyway. Maybe I could dot a few more of them. Of course this is bright blue so it's maybe a bit too bright. Um, what about if I print a couple of them? It's okay. Just spreading out, spreading out a little bit. And I'm going to go back now to the, um, am I, let me see. Yeah, I think I could do something a little bit kind of different in the area of the vase. So I've got this um, orange acrylic pen. Just to 
give some sort of oomph to the bees now that there's something else um, kind of competing for attention in the in the orange spectrum. Um, we've also got, of course, the, the hydroacrylic. Let's see what that does. All right. And as well as the fluorescent ink, this is another one that's um, pretty well finished, or else it's just gone hard. It's this lovely tur turquoisey colour. You can't see it very clearly there, but that's it. Let's see if there's any of that left. That's just a bit lumpy. What would I put in there now? I'm looking around me for a little bit of inspiration on the wall. I've got quite a few different flowers, so. <coughs> Um, do I want to put this somewhere? Maybe. I guess whenever there, whenever there's a bit of orange goes into a painting, I always feel like putting the opposite colour in. And in this case, it's like a turquoisey blue. And I reckon that's the opposite. Okay, so there we are. I really love this colour and you know if I'm going to do that jug of flowers that's up there it's that colour and what I could do is prepare, prepare the way but, um, let me just show you it see that phase of flowers there I was going to put them on here so while I'm waiting on that drying a little bit <coughs> and just because I've got this on the brush I might as well put a bit in where the vase, where the jug is going to be. All right, that's good enough for now. Let's leave it alone. Need a little bit of a start on that one. What am I going to do with this then? I kind of liked it too as it was even, so I don't want to do an awful lot to it. What's this here? That's the fluorescent one again. Yeah, I might end up using a bit of the red chalk for the fuchsia over here. For the fuchsia over here, on the side. I suppose I'm not doing anything too dramatic, like, aside from filling in that. I'll just carry that on and see if I need to do any more after that's there. Sorry, I'm the whole time going in front of the camera. <laughs> Um, okay, so sepia coloured ink now again because I want to put in the little stamen, the little da dancing bits at the end here, which I think are sepia coloured generally anyway. There's a bit at the centre. Um, and a few more seed heads. There and there, and then um, I guess I could still use the sepia for the stem of that. And the next thing would be a little bit lighter, the, the bit um, here. It's kind of a lighter green, really. You know, that, that bit that, um, the kind of juicy green bit that's at the center of those. But maybe the stem could still be darkish and I could just make that bit of a green. And I can make that bit of a green with, when I do this now, that's a bit silly. It's more a kind of yellowy green, isn't it? So it's like that kind of colour, I think. But then the sepia coloured ink is bleeding into it. I still think I kind of get away with it. 
and then there'll be that color could actually be used if I just do it with my finger maybe the leaves of the lily which I was kind of forgetting about Ooh. Mm -hmm. It to be kind of orangey, it's just I didn't have very clean fingers, I suppose. I want to just stop with that one now. Yeah, see if I do any more to it, like it feels like I'll have to adjust that, and I kind of like that bit. I wish I had some paper towels wherever I put them because I want to soak up, um, I want to soak up that bit, it's a bit too strong that line there. significant that to be the thin edge to be the significant thing there. Mm -hmm. And maybe just a touch of reddish paint over here to strengthen the side with the fuchsia. You know I love fuchsia, don't you? brush is too big to fit into the jar of ink that I'm using for the fuchsia. Yeah, it's just too big. But I can get enough, I think, around the edge to make a bit of an impact. And it is the colour, actually, that I'm looking for. Let me do a little fuchsia pot up here. Just deepen the tone of the Fuchsia are quite good together, they become a bit of a spray of fuchsia. So you can get away with little legs of red as long as there's some fine details. It's you know, fine little, you know, the thin bits where the stamen are. It provides enough of a contrast, I reckon. And you can't um, resist sometimes doing a bit of a splash as well. Right, let me see now. I have got a smaller brush that will fit in though. I'll put it into the other red colour. See how that will look. It's mixing in with the green now. It's kind of it's all right though. I don't want it to be all too too defined and separate the colours. Okay, so with that ink I might create some thin lines. Let's pull that down there. Things got a bit lost, didn't they? Which is um, sometimes it's it feels to me like it's um, kind of exciting when things get a little bit lost because then you have to you have to employ your you know you have to just um tangle with things, try try out ways of moving through and it causes things to happen that are sometimes unexpected. Okay, or it maybe means that you have to use different things than you had planned. I didn't think I would do any more to those fuchsia actually. I hadn't a plan to do that but I, I have done it now so it's it's just working with that. I'm going to get the pastels from this side because it's annoying me that every time, and I'm sure it's annoying you, that every time I need to get them, I have to reach in front of the camera. 
And as I'm looking, I found two the purple acrylic, purple acrylic marker pen. Might be quite good for the for the purple insert in the fuchsia. two over here for those purplish flowers. Remember the little ones that I liked? It's more the colour that they are really. I forget what they would have been called but in the summer there was sprays of them around everywhere in the garden. Little purple daisy like flowers. All the gardeners will be shouting at the screen the name of them now. Put it in the comments below if you know the name of those daisies. And so the purple sure, it's landed in the water. Um the other purple I was gonna use was in the chalks, I think. That's I'm not sure if it's purple enough. Not really. It's a bit dull. It's a bit dull, isn't it? Jeez. Things flying everywhere. I've relocated myself from being in the living room to being in the kitchen because I thought this was quite a good place to just to be able to reach everything to have a good surface for something that I'm not looking at on the wall, like in the living room. Having the easel was handy. Sorry, now I'm still looking through here for a bright purplish colour for the centre of the um for the centre of the fuchsia and I think I might just tear a piece out of that if I can find a bright enough bit that'd be good sometimes it's good at like the only thing for it is to tear out the colour Look what I've got here now is a purple acrylic. Let's take a bit of that in. Which is a bit too bright, too light, maybe too pastel. Is it there though? I'll try it. Try some of those. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I won't be getting too trigger happy now and to make big adjustments anywhere. I think just maybe a little bit of green and that'll be me, famous last words you say. So there's that green leaf there, maybe deepen that one. And even the lily leaves. looking at earlier. They could probably have a little bit more of a bluish green, those leaves and the lily, or at least a slightly darker quality to them. And of course, like the flowers, they've got a kind of an arcing grace to them. That um, is quite good for taking the eye through. grounding now with the blue again. This is blue oil pastel here. What's that like? It's kind of doing something funny to the yellow, isn't it? I 
think disorder, but yeah, I don't know what I could do is bring some red down over it there. Yeah, so that we know that the pot is the dominant thing. I'm using my non-dominant hand again here so that I get so I'm not getting contrived and too careful. These are the um, beautiful chalk pastels again, thanks to Claire who gave them to me. So they're gradually getting more and more depleted. <laughs> and again, like the inks, I suppose it's the colours that I especially love that are being used mostly. So it'll be interesting to see which ones I'll be replacing, like. And there's others that I've barely touched then. Um, I think I'm going to try You know, you can't actually see some of what I'm doing there because of this where you're located here. I'm going to bring in some of this bright red. Well, I would have thought it was bright. It doesn't read as being bright there, does it? So I was going to tell you earlier at the beginning there that I've just, I've just watched Casablanca. It's on um, the iPlayer. I've never watched that before, you know. He is looking at you, kid. All these, uh, you know, the you kind of know the lines of it, like, but I didn't realize um, that I'd never actually seen the film. Great film. Started watching it last night and fell asleep, so I had it to look forward to today then. And I just finished watching it when um, it was time to take Erin to work. She's working six o'clock this evening. Gosh, I've got a slightly bad. <laughs> I'm aware that every time I come on, I talk about something being wrong with me. And uh, <laughs> something different again now. Is um, in case you're interested, <laughs> I've got a slightly sore hip there now tonight, but it's um, it's okay. All of these things I find that it keeps me it keeps me moving, and if I was to be completely comfortable, do you know the way sometimes you'd end up just working for hours on something that doesn't need hours work because you're kind of happy enough standing there. All right, so now with those words of wisdom, questionable wisdom, I think I'm going to stop. I think I'm going to stop messing around with this one. I almost did another lily there and I think what I maybe could do with is just a bit of that colour. If I've got a clean finger now, I could spread that out so that we know that the lily extends up there as well as over there. Mm -hmm. Just out of that. And then what did I do to draw the leaves on before? I think it was an oil pastel over here. 
I could just do leaf and stem. there. <laughs> and finally some skinny little things coming out, whatever they're called, those things, to make it look like a bit of a few shot there as well maybe. <coughs> Grand. I think I might stop with that one. Slightly unsure of what I'm up to there, really, to be honest with you. I suppose it's a good time to stop then. So I can do something to it later on again, maybe. I feel like it may be one of those ones that could do, could benefit from having, um, like, a bit of an extension. Where's the clue? Where's the clue? Here it is. What about that now? Just let it carry on. after watching Casablanca I was thinking I'm sure there's many more classics that I've not seen and I know Felix sitting down and watching things like the 49 steps I saw that performed in London in the theatre and it was um, very funny very convincing even although there was only I think three members of the cast or something and they did everything it looked like on a budget you know but it was very good okay Got right into it. So now I'd say that's me stopping there with that one. And rather than continue and straight away go into the blue jug picture, I'm going to just turn off this video. And if I am going to do the blue jug, and sorry, <laughs> there it is on the wall. If I am going to do the blue jug picture, then with the orange lilies inside, then I'd record a video of that as well. That's my own scarf that's underneath. So that's that one there. I think, what do I think about that? Yeah, I feel like it's, um, well, you know, it's different from what it was. And I think it's, um, I was gonna say I think it's an improvement. I'm finding it hard to say that because it's just a different picture, I think. From what it was. It was fairly economic before, wasn't it? There wasn't an awful lot going on. And now there's a lot going on. And more by the second. But I'm kind of enjoying the riot of colour thing. Actually this is quite a nice line to draw with. I look at the lily that's still blooming there and see will they do that somewhere? Just a little bit of an insinuation of it even. stuff everywhere now, isn't there? Just want 
I want to read this a bit more lily like. Not sure actually what's happening there. It seems to be um I'm getting a bit more of a curve there. There's this big lump. the dust. going to end up on the wall, isn't it?
would say that's done. Okay. Thanks for joining me. And 40 minutes again. You almost seem to go and pick up Erin from uh, work. She's finishing at 10. Got a funny shadow on top of that. I think that's all right, you know. That's all right for now. But a pattern on the vase might be a good thing. But it would need to be a small, fine, like um, something flowery, I think. I don't know. Maybe like a, a small print pattern. Or maybe I'll just leave it alone. Wouldn't that be a novel thing to do? To just decide, done, and off it goes. Passionate detachment. So I'll, uh, I am still inclined to keep going with um, something though. So I probably will end up painting that blue jug and the orange flowers coming out of it next on that yellowish paper that has the blue on it. Okay, so I'll see you later. I mean, I might post these one day after the other. So that it's kind of kind of handy having them um, videos in advance that I can post on days when I'm not so inspired. Got a nice colourful work top. Okay, again, thanks very much for joining and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye.